first video. Uh, we're on our way home and we couldn't film to start the day because we just had no idea what the day was going to bring. So we're going to recap uh, what we did. <laughs> All right, so first up is to get the ewes and the lambs out of the yard. They have been in there since we got them in January, eating alfalfa and hay from last year, so it's time for them to get out of the yard and onto some fresh stuff. Justin has a bucket of corn in his hands, and sheep love corn, and they love to be with their friends, so if one of them or a couple of them follow, they all go together. They're a flock animal, so you'll notice they all start running, he is leading them over through the yard into the chute, and the chute is like a really small kind of tunnel that leads up into the trailer, so that's how we get them loaded. We have never done this before, so right now it looks like it's going really well, but you'll notice that a couple of them lose interest here, can't see the bucket of corn anymore, and they all start dispersing. So I had to stop filming because then we had to try again, but... We got it on the second try, but they just couldn't see the corn anymore, and they're gone. So we got them into the chute then on the second try, and you'll notice one of the mamas just decided to lay down there. So there's some lambs behind her that couldn't get through, so Justin took up the first group into the chute. You'll notice that this small area makes it significantly easier to, to funnel them into the trailer, so that's why we do it. They're going out to the missile base, which is a perfect location because it already has fencing around it. There's even a, like a shed there for them to go inside if the weather gets bad. So we get them all loaded up, and here's a lovely picture of them. And we're heading out to the missile base. We're about to let them loose. I'm so, so excited, I don't even know what to do. started to move the cows into the new pasture. Before we could do that though, we had to pick up some of the fence and make an opening for them to go through, and we also had to move the water tanks. There's three 900 gallon water tanks out there. Each cow can drink 20 gallons of water every day. So we kind of herd them up. Justin is in the four-wheeler here behind them, kind of pushing them forward, and then I am in front of them on another four-wheeler. I have some pellets, some treats for them, and just like sheep, they're kind of herd animals, so if you get a couple good ones that want to follow me, the rest kind of kind of come too. So here I am in the front. I also like yell at them. You kind of train them to come to a certain certain noise and sound. So they just follow along and they know they're going to new grass. Calf tonight. Uh, calf seems to be healthy, but issue is the. The bag with the milk on the cow, it's an older cow, so the bag's pretty low to the ground. And this guy's just having a hard time finding out what he's supposed to be sucking from, so he just hasn't found it yet. So he's hungry, but just can't find the milk. Oh, it was a very busy day on the farm today. Uh, very busy, but productive and good day. What else did we get done today? We had a chicken that laid an egg, which was the highlight of my day. It's never happened before, and we also had a duck lay an egg. So a very exciting day for me because that's the first time any of my poultry have laid an egg. Very cool. <laughs> 